Hey, you guys. So my question was, what happens if you get sugar or anything else poured in your gas tank? I'm sure we've heard that old wise tale. You mess around, you get your significant other upset, they go and pour some sugar or something else in your gas tank. Well, today, I've got just that. We're going to do a couple experiments to see what happens and how to kind of remedy that. Let's see what happens. All right, so here's our testing ground. What we got is we got some brown sugar and we got some regular cane sugar so we can kind of mix it up a bit because who knows who what sugar you're going to use. We got some water because we're going to we're also going to see what water does to your gas too. We got four testing stations. What I want to do is I want to do one of each kind of sugar in one and I want to do two water to show you these two different heats. I don't think they're going to do anything different but you never know. Finally we got our 92 octane. Trust me, pretty penny, $3 a gallon. Can't go wasting that. So let's get started with some of these tests. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with the cane sugar. So what I'm, I'm gonna take one good scoop of that, just because we don't have a whole lot of gas in here. Gonna sprinkle that around a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna use a stirring stick just to get it moved around in there now the old wise tale is that this is gonna gunk up and create big old sludge and that's what's gonna gum up your engine so let's go ahead and give that about 15 minutes So we're back over here to the to the cane sugar, the white sugar, and it's done absolutely nothing. I mean, check it out, guys. There is no difference, and it's not up here in the fuel at all. Um, you can still play with it. It still it hasn't turned into clumps. It's not doing anything. So what's going to happen with this is it's going to get sucked in, but your fuel filter is going to catch all this, all this sugar. So it's probably not really going to get stuck in your system. If you have a heads up about it, anything like that, odds are replace the fuel filter, drain the system, get that sugar out of there, your car is going to be completely fine. So I'm going to go ahead and say this one's busted. This one's actually not going to damage your car too bad as long as you catch it pretty early. Now next test, we're going to do the brown sugar. Just because I figured, you know, there's, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot of difference here. But you never know. So we're going to get a good spoonful of this brown sugar. Let's get that in there. I'm going to use a different stirring stick so we don't contaminate. I'm going to break that sugar up. There we go. I mean, just right off the bat, it looks like brown sugar would be worse for your car, for sure. And if you got somebody that really hates you, they'll go out of their way with brown sugar. Still crushing this up. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're also gonna give this another 15 minutes and we'll see what we get with that. All right, so this next one, the brown sugar, it's definitely, let's, let's just go ahead and take a look at it, just like we did the white sugar. It crystallizes a lot more. It's naturally just comes in clumps. This one would probably be a little more hectic on your system if it got through. Um, kind of clog up that fuel filter a whole lot worse. But, you know, just just like the white sugar, you know, replace your fuel filter if you know what's going on so this doesn't get sucked up into it even more. But odds are, if you had a heads up, it's not going to, you know, be detrimental. This is probably going to be a lot worse than the white sugar, but, you know, somebody must really hate you at that point. So for our next one, we're going to do this water test. And what I did was I gave us a little bit of green food coloring here. You can see in the background there. 
just so we can tell the difference between the fuel and the water. Now the water should stay on top of the gas. So we'll go ahead and add a little bit in there. Go ahead and add a little bit. All right, what we're gonna do is I got a brand new stirring stick. I'm gonna give these a little bit of a, help this out a little bit here. All right, we're gonna give that a little bit of time, see what that does on its own. So we'll check back with that in about 15 minutes. I wanted to give that some time to settle, see what would happen. And it's completely separated to where the water is all on the bottom, which means it's gonna get sucked up first. That's really gonna mess up your engine. That's gonna, that's just gonna push water through the whole thing and just gum it all up. So I got two different kinds of heats. So this yellow one here in the background, I'll, um, I'll link both of these in the description so you can check them out yourself, but this yellow one is a gas line antifreeze and water remover. So we're gonna go ahead and pour that in the in the right one here. There we go. And the red one here in the background, I'll go ahead and, like I said, link that in the description. But not only does it do all the things the yellow does, but it also is an injector cleaner. I don't foresee it doing too much, you know, different. But you know what? I figured the name of gas science, why not give it a shot, you know? So these things are supposed to get rid of water in your system. Like if you live somewhere where it freezes and your fuel lines are frozen, things like that, you don't want water in your system. This thing should get rid of that water. So we'll give that a little bit of time and then we'll see where we are in about 15, 20 minutes. So I just let this sit for about 30 minutes just to see what would happen with these two heats. So this right one, the yellow heat, it's become real cloudy. You can see some bubbles come up every once in a while. And um, you know, that green down there has become a lot less prominent. It's a lot lighter than it was before. But um, I can definitely tell that's working. The um, Just a little bit, you could, I don't know if you can tell, but there was a ring as to where the gas was sitting in the bowl. It's just a little bit lower, so it looks like it was evaporating that water a little bit. Not as easy to tell with this, but it looks like it was doing kind of the same thing. Um, you can kind of see it's kind of got some crystallized stuff in there. Um, I don't know if that's the, uh, the injector cleaner or not, some kind of different chemical than the yellow one had. But that one is also a little lighter than it was before. You can tell, you got the bubbles. This one has definitely evaporated a little bit more. There isn't so much water and things in here. So you can tell both of these are working. And I'm sure in the environment they're meant to be in, they work great. So I'd probably recommend this stuff. So before the water gets sucked into your system, I would definitely, if you had a heads up or you accidentally got some water in there, this stuff would definitely be the way to go. And there you have it, you guys. That's just kind of this little experiment as to what to do if your significant other puts some sugar or some water in your gas tank. You know how to deal with it a little bit better. I know how to deal with it a little bit better. And I think this was a really fun experiment for us to do. Now, if you guys have any little critiques to this lesson, or you guys have something else you want to see, please, by all means, let me know in the comments below. Um, shoot me a message on Instagram. Any way you guys want to get a hold of me would be really appreciated. Um, so hit that subscribe button so I know you guys can get all the info you guys need. And other than that, you guys have a great day. Can't wait to talk to you guys soon.